labels for these. This is a baby velvet. And I got this from Joanne's store. Okay, sorry about this, guys. The hook size I'm using is 5 mm. Head size. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you the smaller version of my project. Okay. So, let's take, uh, make sure you have long tail. And chain, I would say 50. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do 50 for the entire and then I'll see you later. I actually did seven, uh, 49. Okay. This is my length. This is 49 stitches. And I'll do a single crochet for my next round. Chain one. single crochet for my 49 stitches okay finish off your single crochet and I'll see you in the end let's continue making this now I need to make chain one flip it and make a double crochet into this make this make four double crochet into one two three four five six and then i'm going to introduce my new different color here yeah? two three four Four gray and one yellow and three. For the fourth one, the best thing that you could do is pick up the yellow yarn when you are in the last pull, like that, and make one double crochet. Don't forget to carry the gray yarn, otherwise the loops kind of hang out in the back and they look so bad. And I'm just pulling it. Continue to make. four double crochets and don't forget to carry the yarn two three four and the fourth stitch before pulling the gray yarn just pull the yellow yarn carry the gray yarn now and make one double crochet and keep forgetting to take the next yarn okay continue to make the same pattern for gray color yeah four double crochets three and don't forget to pull the yellow yarn and now you're gonna pull the gray yarn 
okay continue to make one double crochet all along and then i mean four gray and one uh, yellow yarn uh, one sorry four double crochet with gray color or any uh, yarn color of your choice and the next color would be one one double crochet okay do it all along and i'll see you in the end now i'll show you how to do row three in previous row we have one double crochet and then of yellow and in the next row we'll make one double crochet on either side of the middle double crochet okay so we'll have total of three double crochets in yellow okay let's see how it's done raise two with your with the gray color and make one double crochet into the, with the same color you need to carry on the yarn from the previous row and make one double crochet into the next row and change the yarn to yellow and make three double crochets one two three when you are in the last stitch bring out the gray yarn and make double crochet one double crochet one or two depending upon how you stitched and next make three double crochets one two three double crochets crochets with the yellow and now bring up the gray yarn now we we have three double crochets next we're gonna make two double crochets with the gray yarn and the last stitch we're gonna bring out the yellow and make three double crochets one two three into the last stitch we finished my line row uh let's what is this row three okay you can see here this is one double crochet with yellow and these are three double crochets with yellow next thing row four Row 4, we are going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 double crochets of yellow. Okay. So let's see. Raise to 1, 2, with yellow. This is 1, 2, Three, four, five. Okay, now if you see, we have one stitch that we need for the next um, next stitch. It we have three in previous row, and next row we, we next row we should make five. So there will be a continuous yellow going on. So let's say it's one. And then we have to make a total of five, right? So this is going to be two. And on top of this one, we're gonna make three. And on top of this, we're gonna make another one, four. And next one, next stage is five. Okay, there's a continuous line of yellow. We finished this uh, row. For the next stitch let's pick up on the gray and 
make two stitches and don't forget to carry the yarn if, um, pick up on the yellow pick up on the yellow and make double crochet with this two three on the last stitch pick up on the gray last stitch pick up on the yellow and make three double crochet with yellow one two three and the last one pick up on the gray make double crochet with gray and pick up on yellow make three double crochet with yellow one two three Two on the last one switch to yellow one two three make two double crochets with the gray I finished to the end and I raised with uh, one, two, with one chain two and then I did a do one double crochet. Next thing I need to do is I need to make one double crochet on top of the yellow and switch it to, well, forgot to carry this so I have to redo it. This is the previous row. Raise two. Make sure you carry the yarn with you. And here we have three yellow so we need to make one yellow we have to cover the rest of them with gray okay so next stitch it's going to be one double crochet with the yellow and the other one is going to other two is going to be gray then continue making gray on top of gray and here we have three so the middle one is going to be yellow and the other two sides is going to be gray one 
yellow. And rest of it, it's going to be gray. Double crochet. Double crochet on top of double crochet. Now I reach to the next section. So I'm going to make one gray and then the last stitch. I'm going to get my yellow yarn and make one double crochet. In the last stitch I'm going to pick up on gray and continue with gray. Continue to do this all along the line. We'll have one yellow and finish up the line and that will be the end. End of the design. If you want to continue, you can repeat the same pattern like we started.